Respect was founded in 2004, emerging out of the Stop the War Coalition. Respect stands for respect, equality, socialism, peace, environmentalism, community and trade unionism. They'll have four candidates standing in this 2015 election. They currently have 5,730 followers on Twitter. That, of course, is about to soar. Their leader, George Galloway, has confirmed that he'll stand for election as London mayor, but only if he loses his seat in Parliament. So let's go to George Galloway now. He joins us from Leeds. George Galloway, welcome back on The Daily Thank Politics. You. Um, when you first stood for respect, I, I think you would you would concede you were standing against a very different kind of Labour leadership. D do you not feel it's time to go home? No, uh, on the contrary, you're probably talking to the man with the casting vote in the next parliament, at least I hope so, <laughs> and many other people uh, will do too. No, we are real Labour, that's true. Ed Miliband is a bit more real Labour than Tony Blair and Gordon Brown were, uh, but there's still a way to go on issues of war and peace, on issues of austerity and many others. So, no, we think we've still got a role and we're doing very well, I can oh. assure you. Now, when you were last on the Sunday politics, it was September of last year, you said, I think there'll be a Labour government in the spring. Is that still your view? It is. And I was prescient on that, as I was. Well, it hasn't on... happened yet. Well, I'm pretty sure <laughs> about it. And uh, I was sure we'd win exactly 55 to 45. In the Scottish referendum, you know that because it was you I was talking to. So I'm quite good at predictions. And my All prediction right. is this, that Ed Miliband will be the prime minister uh, in a few days time. Uh, but he'll have to please those other voters like uh, the Scottish nationalist voters, like uh, 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 respect green voters and the rest with some gusto to do something about a decisive break with Tory policies. All There's right. no point in Tweedledee just replacing well, Tweedledum. Well, you've described Nicola Sturgeon, the SNP leader, as, quote, Thatcher in a kilt. <laughs> um, not many may agree with that, but that's, these are your words. So how should Ed Miliband, if he's forming this minority government, as you are predicting, how should he deal with Thatcher in a kilt? Well, as you know, there's nobody more anti-SNP than me, and uh, my intervention in the referendum was widely praised, including by you and your uh, magazine. Uh, so I hold no brief at all for the Scottish National Party, but they will be, when they're elected, legitimate members of the British Parliament. And we can't have legitimate members of the British Parliament being treated as second class or a, a kind of untouchable. They have votes in the House of Commons, like any other MP, and they have the right to vote for or against anybody's Queen's speech. Uh, if you don't win this election, is that pretty much the end of respect? Oh, I'm pretty... Uh, look at the bookmakers, Andrew. I'm pretty nailed on, odds on, certainty to win. So that's a hypothetical I wouldn't deal with. No, we are growing. Uh, we have a very vibrant membership. Our election campaign, as anyone following us on Twitter... By the way, you should follow me on Twitter. I've got a quarter of a million followers, not the respect site only. So it's you'll a one-man band. No, no. But you'll see the most vibrant election campaign anywhere to be found in the country. All right. Well, we shall see if your predictions come true uh, at the end of the election. But just before I go, because it is interesting, because you have experience of Scotland, obviously, and of yeah. Labour, obviously. You think that Mr Miliband will have to deal with the SNP should he form a minority government? It would be a huge betrayal of the Labour movement and of the British uh, working people and the millions who are going to vote for him to allow David Cameron into Downing Street to continue his wrecking campaign just because you don't like the Scottish National Party. That would be absolutely self-destructive and foolish. George Galloway, thanks for joining us this morning. Welcome.